Hello everyone, it's Crystal Ether here. Today is the second entry in my personal ranking tier list series. This week will feature Will Sprout, the other rookie from South. With 9 4 star cards in his roster and a preference for support, this hero's cards focus on poison and healing to aid his allies. As a reminder, only the 4 star cards released up to this point will be considered and will be ranked at maximum rank potential to account for skill cooldown reductions. Cards will be ranked by the following rules and will only be tiered for that character only. An S tier Ghast is not necessarily superior to an A tier Will. Before we begin, I want to state that these rankings are based on my own reasoning and should not be taken as an absolute, nor is there a significant difference between cards within the same tier. Please exercise your own judgement when building teams, and note that no card is considered unusable even if they are given a very low rating. At the end of the day, play how you like. You don't need to follow the meta to progress in Wheeler's Rising Heroes. As usual, whether you're joining me here or from an annotation of your choice, let's get started. Will's Halloween Welfare card sits at the top for being a self-sufficient DPS card that can quickly refill his BP gauge by landing critical hits. This card may not have the instant firepower that the Lincoln Keith and New Year's 2024 Brad have, but instead treats this for buffing his own critical damage, which arguably has more value with the numerous flat critical rate buff sources in the game. This Will's attack buff also has 100% effective uptime when this card is max limit broken. Simple yet effective. If there's anything that could be added to this card, a damage modifier such as damage up versus poison would make him the ideal welfare card. As he is, Halloween Will is a highly valuable cornerstone for free to place for the power he brings, especially as the cool attribute desperately needs a DPS like him. The second anniversary card for Will also belongs in S tier for the offensive buffs and debuffs he provides. Simple and can rack up quickly via the soul mechanic, his ability to generate burst points at high soul levels can be achieved by turn 5. A bit slow in hyper carry teams, but otherwise very helpful in most content. With enough utility to remain useful even if a foe resists his poison debuffs, this commemorative card earns a place in this tier. Garbed in clothing perfect for a ball, Masquerade Will has the honor of being one of few cards in the entire game that performs well as either a DPS or a support. Via the soul mechanic, his single target buffs can ramp up throughout the fight, but their low modifiers are surprising for the type of buff they fall into. His skill kit is also similar to second anniversary Will's, but lacks the debuffing capabilities that the latter has. Nor can he provide other offensive buffs like critical rate or critical damage up that would cement Masquerade Will as a premier support card. On the DPS side, his Link partners aren't terrible. Faith receives all the bonuses of the Link skill, which is difficult to pair up with outside of this event set. As for the sublinks, Akira and Oscar are easy to work with. The Billy's presence suffers the same problems as Faith. The links themselves being burst gauge and critical rate are excellent for support cards, however. Masquerade Will is actually quite good as a filler unit, especially for new players or those without a developed roster. However, his A tier is earned for being good, but not great, when considering other dedicated DPS or support cards. In B tier, Will Spring version finds his spot here for his poison based skill set. He has no counter to enemies who could resist it, but otherwise can empower his own allies with attack buffs if they are poisoned, similar to Valentine's Faith. His burst skill also improves significantly if the enemy has that debuff, so Spring Will is surprisingly capable in a DPS role. This card's biggest issue is that it's designed to be ideally paired up with Spring Brad, but not all players may have him. Any source of skill damage works, however, but the debuff itself has very poor scaling unless sorted into a skill damage heavy team. This particular will card can suffice with just an attack buff, but maximizing his potential severely limits his team members. Will's culinary skills reflect his po uh, combat potential in his cooking version, as it also finds his way to this tier. He's notable for being able to regenerate up to 5 special attack orbs with only a single turn of downtime. Those SP orbs go towards the second skill, healing ally HP and filling their BP gauge by consuming that orb each cast. It's clear what the developers intended to do with this card, but locking the second skill behind a 3 turn cooldown limits the offensive setups he can participate in. He'd perform excellently in regular quests as there's no time limit, but the imposed restrictions that come with endgame content are terrible for this card's skill set. The third member of B tier is Will's third anniversary version, held back by an extremely long initial cooldown to his first skill and provides only debuffing support to the party until turn 4. 
The attack and defense debuff on his second skill is quite strong with 100% uptime, but the poison debuff provides virtually no value with this low scaling and no damage modifier to take advantage of early on. You may ask, why is the 4 turn lockout such a big deal? I bet it's pretty cracked, right? No, it's not cracked. In fact, it locks away his damage modifier with basic scaling until after the buff cycle ends. There's some healing as well, but that can be easily substituted with frames or simply beating the enemy before HP becomes a problem. At max limit break, it's surprising that healing is a priority early in a fight. Because he's held back by these problems, this card can't really aspire for anything more than their superior versions of will that provide more to the team. Initial Will already faced issues at launch with his high cooldowns and time has not been kind to him. His healing is strong when casted but can be replicated through frames, and his points and debuffs has poor scaling. This Will card lacks a damage modifier to follow up on it as well. This card is easily replaceable even when accounting for special cut stat bonuses. There isn't much else to say. Will's other side heroes card also faces the same issue with Akira's version of the same theme, being welfares with poor performance due to being the first of their kind. While he does have heightened stats via special cut, his value comes from the stackable critical damage buff he provides to the team. This will card also provides poison resistance of all things, which isn't applicable in most fights in the game. Unfortunately, his first skill is difficult to use consistently as well, as this card lacks a substitute buff to guarantee attacks onto him, and none of his link skill partners are from the sector. It's hard to justify this card over the rest of Will's roster. It's absolutely unfortunate that Will's first anniversary card is at the bottom, but his exclusivity doesn't justify his poor performance. The best part of his kit is his damage when using his burst gauge at 200%, and it's all downhill from here. He provides a stackable HP regeneration and poison resistance buff with poor scaling, and his second skill inflicts poison when hit and removes that debuff from all allies, a cleanse that isn't useful in most content. This card can at least guarantee attacks with the substitute buff, but otherwise has very little going for it. Will's 4-star card roster varies widely between mediocrity and excellence, but at least has a powerful freebie that's hard to replace. More than half of his 4-star cards have difficulties meeting the demands of endgame content, which makes it hard to justify using him in said content. If you lack a few A or above cards in your roster, uh, good luck. That's all for this ranking session. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.